hey hi hello welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is Jess and obviously it is end of 2022 and so um as everyone else is I have some books that I am anticipating for the new year so I last year tried to make this list shorter I think it's shorter this year because I'm just not getting around to all of them not like it matters there's no like rules on these videos I can do what I want but I also didn't see as many that I was interested in and there's some that I'm like I'm probably gonna read um because some of them are follow-ups that like I'm not very in I I want to know something that happens but it's not like I'm not anticipating it like one is hellbent by Lee Bardugo I'm going to read it I'm gonna borrow it from the library though um, because I need to know what happens to a character but like I'm not anticipating it I'm just it's gonna come out I'm gonna read it to figure out and then I'm done but there are other ones where I'm like very excited now I get make a totally separate video just on books that I want to read based on their covers but it's unfortunate because then I read some of the premise and I'm like I probably won't enjoy this but I want to read it because the cover is beautiful so I might make that a separate video just for shits and giggles because I am a vain bitch and I love me a good cover so let's be real okay I might end up buying some of those but especially with the this is sickening this is sickening publishing and the covers like I'm never gonna be able, I'm never gonna be able to cancel these subscriptions that I have of fairy loot and the broken binding because I'm not getting off this list like I, I kind of want to get on the lumen crate list but I don't know um these special editions like I'm like I need it book books are art you know what I'm saying and anyway that's not the point we are here to talk about books that come out in 2023 that I'm excited about reading I have not read any of these I'm not good at reading arcs which are advanced reader copies um yeah I'm not good at that so I have not read any of these and these are not in order because I was too lazy to do that I just wrote them down as I thought of them or saw them in someone's video and so I just have a list I don't even know how many are here uh so if I am not lazy while editing can't promise that I will put the date that is supposed to be released here but note that that could be changed because the world is still in a Pamplona so who knows anyway 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 I have A Woman of the Sword by Anna Smith Spark I'm trying to read my handwriting I wrote these in actual pen but then I got some water on it so you know struggle so I, the words I have here because I am notoriously bad at not reading a full synopsis and then I'll get into the book and be like hmm, I didn't know the book was about this and then I'll be like oh I didn't read the whole synopsis and I would have known but then sometimes you read the whole synopsis and it spoils something in the book so it's like mm, very hit or miss for me so I did try to read more of the synopsis when looking through these books maybe not the full thing though so what I wrote down like I started out strong making notes right and then the other ones I just wrote the title so I'm gonna have to look up on Goodreads to tell you what it's about okay I keep talking a woman of the sword so we have a wife and a mother who's a warrior born to fight I was already hooked war is not kind to mothers and their sons that's what I wrote so uh yeah sounds good to me <laughs> enough that I wrote it down here we shall see um I haven't been reading a lot of fantasy like that I've been more in a cozy fantasy mood but we'll we'll see this isn't saying I'm gonna read that first thing I don't even know when this comes out like I don't even have it written here <laughs> this is a mess anyway next I have God Killer by Hannah Kane the cover amazing special edition I need it give it to me but also sounds really good this is dark fantasy adventure so we have Kissins that might be that family were killed by zealots of a fire god we're getting zealots we're getting family so revenge fire god now she makes a living killing god something is running at the heart of their world hey <laughs> we have potential here we have potential i don't know if that's supposed to be a standalone it could be which is always lovely to have another fantasy standalone and then if I love it even better god killer yes then I have the admit <clears throat> the adventures of Amina al Sarafi by my girl Shannon Chakra Party now you can request this arc on NetGalley but again I'm not good with arcs especially e-arcs so 
I think I'm just gonna wait. But Jashana read this and was raving about it, which makes me really happy. I loved her first trilogy, the David Bond trilogy. Love, love, love. And this is going to be, we have Amina, who's a pirate captain, fresh out of retirement. So we have an older woman. And I think the story is kind of told in her reflecting back on her life, maybe. And then her time in the present. Child, I don't know. I just knew it was by Shannon and I was going to read it. Because to be honest, I have not read many pirate books. And the ones I've read, I've DNF'd. So if anybody's going to save pirate stories for me, it's Miss Chakra Borti. <laughs> I know it's supposed to be misses. Shut up. So yes, that. Also, Witch King by Martha Wells. Now, Martha Wells writes things, including the Murderbot Diaries, which I enjoy. Now this one, now see, let me go to Goodreads because all I wrote was Goodreads quote. Thank you, Jessica. Um, but obviously it says something good and I was very interested in it. <sighs> Witch king okay this says i didn't know you were a demon you idiot i'm the demon <laughs> kai's having a long day after being murdered his consciousness dormant and unaware of the passing of time while confined in the elaborate water trap kai wakes to find a lesser mage attempting to harness kai's magic to his own advantage this was never going to go well but why was kai in prison in the first place what has changed in the world since this assassination like what Yes, I'm there. I'm here. I'm ready for it. Also, it's fantasy standalone. Please, please, please. Yes, yes, yes. I hope it's amazing. All right. Next I have, see, then I got lazy and I stopped even writing the author's name down. This is ghetto, but I was kind of doing this. Then I have the Daughters of Izdahar. Apologies for pronunciation, which looks like the first in a duology. The author is Hadir Elsby. And this is a book that's coming um, that I have inspired by Egyptian history. So it says set in a holy new world, but inspired by modern Egyptian history about two young women. One's a spoiled aristocrat used to getting what she wants and one's a poor bookshop worker and used to having nothing who find they have far more in common, particularly in their struggle for the rights of, rights of women and their ability to fight for it with forbidden elemental magic. Elemental magic, we have a water weaver. Mm, okay. And then oh, we got forced marriage. Mm, uh-huh. And then we have earth weaver with un powerful uncontrollable powers i want more stories based in egyptian history mythology and this seems like it can be getting so very excited about that another one where i love the cover but i also love what um i think the book is gonna be so very excited about that okay then i have the will of the mini by james eilington who wrote that one that trilogy that I didn't read? I, I I would be interested to read it one day, but I didn't read it anyway. This one sounded like it could be Dark Academia, maybe. So it oh my god, why is it so long? It says six hundred eighty eight pages. Jesus Christ! And it says number one. So the beginning of a series. Anyway, this is very I think Rome inspired. So it has, I'll show, obviously you'll see the image, whatever, right here. Um, so it's saying we have like an academy, uh, or wait, something, something, something. I was orphaned after a tragic accident and my good fortune alone has led me to acceptance into their most prestigious school. Um, something, something, something. Uh, the truth is I've been sent to the academy to find answers to solve a murder to search for an ancient weapon to uncover secrets that might tear the republic apart to survive though I will still have to rise to the academy's ranks okay so we have political intrigue and we have the school setting okay and maybe a murder mystery it, it's giving potential now I don't know because I have not read that first trilogy the Lycanus trilogy I think that's what it is but I did hear a lot of great things about that and I'm very intrigued about this and I like the cover I think it's very simple but like still give it's strong like makes the point so we're we're feeling good we're feeling good about it so we're gonna see 
we're gonna see this one again we did not write a lot but now this is the deep sky by yume katase katase sci-fi thriller in space i mean that's enough but maybe i could tell you exactly what it's about because after reading dead silence i was like give me another sci-fi thriller in space i'm here for it um i would like more of them thank you so if you know any of those uh put it down yonder in the comments so okay this one says enthralling sci-fi thriller debut about a mission into deep space that begins with a lethal explosion that explosion explosion that leaves the survivors questioning the loyalty of the crew oh to save humanity they left everything behind except their differences so you know what yeah oh wait on the eve of the earth's environmental collapse yeah i've had i i'm feeling good about that one i'm feeling good about it all right next i have the sun and the void by gabriella romero la cruz queer fantasy and south american folklore inspired world okay that's probably why i wrote that down because i have not read many books uh that are inspired by south america so we need that the sun and the void is that the one that i said was maybe coming to... i don't know but let's see oh cover it's giving it's bright yes orbit okay this is in a lush world inspired by history and folklore of south america a sweeping epic fantasy of colonialism ancient magic and two young women's quest for be belonging unfolds mm, two young women okay oh attacked by creatures that stalk the region oh okay oh look grandmother a dark sorceress oh okay illegitimate of mixed heritage mm, had her oddities oh and one has magic that calls her but she should fight the temptation now see it's it's setting me up it's setting me up expectations high i hope miss gabriella uh delivers oh she was born and raised in venezuela yes this is the one i was thinking of so yes the sun in the void we shall be picking that up i hope amazing things now this one comes out earlier in the year this is the one i know that comes out in january and this is a memoir by prince harry himself called spare wow it's giving the title is saying i'm about to read you bitches for filth i am about to take the company the establishment i'm about to take them to the cleaners I hope that he drags these hoes by their little whispering gray hairs. I want him to lay that shit bare because he is the spell. Now, if Harry does not give us the tea, if he gives us some little watered down um, Snapple, I'm gonna be pissed. I'm gonna be pissed. I want that tea black and piping hot. So. Let's hope he already was feeling messy when he spilled it to whomstever wrote it. Um, yeah, because I don't want no middle. I want, I want insults. Okay, I want him to call out his raggedy uncle. Okay, I want him to stand ten toes down for his mama and for his wife. I know he's already doing that, but I'm saying I want it in the words. I want to hear that shit. And he better narrate the audiobook soon. Okay, then these two here I have that are, I think are coming out next year, but don't have a title or a date. And that would be the third Amari book. No, I have not read the second Mind Your Business, please. I think Amari is just a trilogy, cannot confirm. But I also have Stormlight 5 by Brandon Sanderson. Have I read three or four no shut up mind your business i have plans to but i believe those are coming out next year and i would like to get to them if they do okay we're getting towards the end here i have untethered sky by fonda lee now fonda lee you know i do feel like i want to throw hands if i see her in public but I'm not like writing her off as an author. So Untethered Sky is a novella coming from Tor.com next year. And it says an epic fantasy fable about the pursuit of a obsession at all costs. Esther's family was torn apart when a manticore killed her mother and baby brother, leaving her with nothing but her father's painful silence and a single overwhelming need to kill the monsters that took her family. So really it was on the strength of Fonda Lee, then this cover and then what a manticore. Okay, I'm intrigued. Also novella, we love to see it. So that, then 
Angeline Booley, whose book came out last year, her debut, which was Firekeeper's Daughter, which I loved, is writing another book and it's called Warrior Girl Unearthed. Warrior Girl Unearthed. All right, so another thrilling YA mystery that is about a native teen who must find a way to bring an ancestor home to her tribe. Hmm. So, oh, wait. I think this is kind of in the same world or universe as Firekeeper's Daughter because I see a familiar name, Auntie Donis. Ah, that's cute, that's cute. So anyway, actually, I don't really know. I'm not gonna read too much into it for a mystery. I don't care. I love the first book she wrote. This is another one. I need to be reading more from indigenous authors anyway. So like, don't ask any more questions. Just read it, okay? Thank you. Also, one that I heard from Marines is, I don't think I would have heard this really from anybody, but... So years ago, I read the book Eliza and Her Monster Monsters by Francesca Zappia or Zappia. I'm, I'm not sure how that's pronounced. And I loved it. I loved it. I don't know if I read it today, if I was still feeling the same way, but I loved it. And I'm, I'm keeping that here close to me. So um, and they do have other books and I've been meaning to read them and I just haven't. But then they also have a new one coming out. And when I heard Marinette talk about it, I was like, wait, wait, wait. I want to read that one. So this one is called Grey Mist Fair. And it says the people of Grey Mist Fair know that the woods are a dangerous and magical place and they would never set foot off the road. But when a young tailor discovers a body on the road, her search for the culprit reveals even more strange and dark happenings. So although Eliza and her monsters was a contemporary and this is like a little, this is supposed to be like a little, okay, it says fairy tale, mystery, I don't know. I'm just very interested to read another one from this author and I've been meaning to so why not read a new one? I don't know. Don't ask questions. I just haven't heard anyone really ever talk about this author and I heard it in this video and I was like oh my god I forgot about her. That's really bad. I shouldn't have said that. But I'm yes. Okay. Mind you, whatever. Okay and not less two of like top 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 top. So they had to be less. I have The Shadow Cabinet by Juno Dawson. I read her Rad, Rajis, her Majesty's Royal Coven. And I was very surprised at how much I actually enjoyed it. And then the fucking ending, the cliffhanger, the cliffhanger, the cliffhanger. Oh my God. I don't think this book comes out till like May or June or something, but it's on NetGalley and I'm almost of a mind to request it because I'm in the mood and I wanna know what happens. But then that means if there, I don't know how many books are supposed to be in this series. That means if there's another cliffhanger, then I'm gonna be dying for even longer. Juno Dawson, how, does anybody know her? Is anybody friends with her? Because I would like her to be my friend. So maybe, or at least a beta reader. So I could at least get the third one early. Cause like, I don't, I don't know. I have not wanted to like read a sequel this bad in a while. So I think while I'm feeling this, I should get on NetGalley and request that. Yes, I'm thinking I should do that. And last but certainly not least is Yellow Face, I think, by R.F. Kwong. Well, I said I think, look. Yes, Yellow Face by R.F. Kwong. I will say I don't love the cover, but that's fine, that's fine. Um, I don't love the cover, but this one is, wow, who already? I know you not, whatever, you can kick rocks. Um, so this one is basically about, I think like a white woman who basically steals the work of an Asian woman and tries to publish it as her own. It's basically about, I think it's about appropriation, maybe kinda, and like also throwing shade at publishing, which is perfect because it is published by Harper, um, under Harper Collins, who is being very trifling at the moment. And the Harper Collins Union is still sh on strike because the Harper Collins hasn't responded to any of their requests, which I think is bullshit. Anyway, I can link that down below if you want to know information about it and ways you can support it, sign their petition, donate money, any of that. Link down below. Anyways, so very timely piece. As you should know, I love Arab Kwong. Um, yeah, so that's enough for that. And that's all I wrote here. I know there will be other ones that will come out or people will start talking about them. I'm like, oh, I wanna read that. But for now, those are the ones, the main ones circulating in my brain and hello but I think that's it so please tell me if you have any books that you think I would be interested in that are coming out next year particularly 
if you know books that are like Half a Soul, um, The Undertaking of Heart and Mercy, The Irregular Witches Society, I can't think of the whole title. If you know like little cute cozy fantasies like that, can have a hint of romance and you those are coming out next year or if there's ones that were out recently and I don't know about them please tell me below because I'm just in the mood for all of that I just want to go to those books so that's it for me I'll list these books down below and I hope you stay blessed hydrated moisturize and sunscreen and I'll see you in my next one bye